Okay, guys, I do not know what happened, but this is, I guess, going to be part two. Um, when we left off, we covered the side panel of our teacup with a cardstock, and we covered the front side of our teacup and the back side of our teacup also. So the next part is um, going to be adhering the side um, flaps, the side panel to your teacup. So let me just score, fold down my my paper. So fold down the flaps. And it's at this point where you can trim off any excess, um, excess um, cardstock or anything like that that you need to trim off before you start gluing the in, inside part of your your teacup. Now I can't see the chat at all. always happens when you're you know trying to do something live there we go Okay, so I might have to snip these panels because they're a little bit too wide. So I might just kind of snip, snip them and turn them into two. take this side and start adhering and going along the teacup like so okay I'm gonna have to cut along here I'm going to take this portion that I just cut off of my teacup and I'm going to glue it down. Before I glue the side panel off. Before I glue it onto my, my chipboard. I can just trim off anything, any excess anything right now before it's assembled because it makes it a lot trickier to cut you know side pieces when your cup is fully assembled so I'm just gonna start adhering it to the side I'm gonna use some hot glue for this put some hot glue right there and I'm going to adhere it here. I'm going to work my way nice and slow. I'm not going to rush it because I don't want this to come out all crooked. And 
and I'm gonna do one little um, tab at a time. Okay. So I'm just adding a little bit of hot glue as I go along. When you're working with hot glue, please be very careful. Do not burn your fingers because it tends to hurt a little bit. Now again, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue as I go along. Making sure I'm pushing it right flush to the edge. And you can control that by pushing the inside tabs to the edge to where you want it to stick before the hot glue dries. You can see there. I'm pushing down on the tabs as I'm gluing along. This is normally how I hold it. Like this. Put it on my hand like this. Pull the tab back gently with my thumb. Add my hot glue. This is why I adhered the bottom part first because I'm not covering the bottom part with the with the side panel. I'm I'm going around like this. I'm going around like this. So this is what it's looking like on the inside so far. Make sure that all your flaps are all facing inwards so you don't accidentally glue any flaps the wrong way.
Okay, so there's a little extra piece here. That is going to get cut. But I'm not going to cut it just yet. There's a little extra piece here. I made it a little extra long just to make sure that it went all the way around. And this is okay because you can always just cut this off when you're done. Okay, so so far this is what it looks like. I've adhered one side of my teacup. And then you're going to take the lining and you're going to put it in there. So once you do that, the lining, the, the flaps are all covered and your lining comes out nice and clean. Okay, so I'm just going to take this side and cut. the bottom portion of it off and glue that down now I'm not too worried right now at this point about the brown uh, part of the chipboard showing because I am going to go over it with some white wash which is just basically some white acrylic paint with uh, that's watered down just a nice light white wash to make it look a little um, shabby chic so so far we have one flap down and now gluing the second flap should be easy Holding my flaps inward. Kind of trimming some of my flaps, making them a little smaller. Okay. So before I glue that, actually I'll just glue these in after. I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing the rest the this flap down I got one bit in. And I'm going to work my way around. So that's what that is looking like. I'm just going to continue working my way around.
Remember to keep your flaps inside. Now the second part is relatively easy because it's kind of already shaped, curve, curving the way that you're going to want it to curve. So there's my teacup. And now all I have to do is cut this flap, the extra piece off. And it makes it a lot easy because it's striped paper, so I just follow the, the line on the striped paper. There we go. See, super easy, fun, fast. Now all I have to do is adhere the inside portion for the lining. And again, I'm just using a little bit of wet glue around. I don't really want to wet the paper because I don't want it to warp the shape of my teacup. So I'm only going around the edges. should go right in you can see just what a good size this teacup is because my hand fits inside <laughs> perfectly you might have to do some trimming but just very light trimming there's one side and glue this portion in real quick There we go. See? A perfectly lined teacup. Fully covered on both sides, front and back, and sides. It stands on its own. And now it's just ready to embellish. Ready to go at it and make it look a lot more fabulous so there you have it easy peasy easy easy to make and I will post pictures of my fully embellished teacups both of them both this one and the other one so you guys can see the fully uh, embellished teacups and you guys head on over to Elegant Embellishments Facebook group and check out the challenge. I have a $15 gift certificate that I'm going to be giving to one lucky uh, crafter at the end of the challenge as a thank you for participating. And there is a couple of ways that you guys can enter the challenge um, to enter your name into the prize bowl. Um, I might add a additional bonus goodie bag. Um, to go along with the with the the prize, and that's just to be to be seen at the end of the challenge. Um, 
there is a different ways to enter your name into the prize bowl one is by completing your fully embellished teacup and putting either pictures or video um, on Facebook and make sure to tag me Itza Thoughts and put it in the event page that's one way that gives you one entry um, to the prize you can if you do more than one project every different picture that you submit um, puts your name into the prize bowl um, the other way is you have to be a member of the elegant embellishment uh, Facebook group just uh, tag me say a quick hello and let me know you're doing the challenge and that puts your name a second time into the prize bowl another way is you need to be a subscriber to my youtube channel uh, you can find me on youtube under itza thoughts or 101 itza and um, just leave me a quick hello let me know you're participating and that puts your name into the prize bowl a third time and the fourth way to get your name into it is if you use any of these beautiful trims or metal embellishments or just about anything in her store if you guys use anything in her store on your project just let me know what you're using from her store put a quick description um, on your picture and that puts your name a uh, second a uh, fourth time into the the prize bowl so there's many many ways for you guys to have possibilities to win the goodie uh, gift certificate and um, the possible gift box that I'm putting together so I really hope that you guys take me up on my challenge and participate um, everything is provided for you the template the tutorial and all you guys need to do is just put your teacup together and share your projects with everybody um, that's that's it it's easy peasy really fun and easy little project to put together they look totally fabulous um, as a home, home piece decor as a gift um, you name it they can be totally functional um, you can store stuff on the inside of them all kinds of different fun little things that you can do to put your teacup together your teacup has to be either um, this way or this way it has to be fully embellished by fully embellished I mean it has to have you know a nice appeal to it you have to put some kind of embellishments on the inside it has to have some kind of flower floral arrangement because it is a botanical uh, teacup challenge so just a fun easy project for you guys to craft and create and um, let's get started I hope you guys participate and I can't wait to see everybody's beautiful crafty creations so till next time guys uh, stay posted and um, I'll be back uh, in a few minutes let me just stop the recording and I'll be back to answer anybody's questions if anybody has any